Hello, today we're going to take a look at Magic XPI 4's architecture and I'll be showing you exactly what goes on when you start a project. Magic XPI 4 uses a single space for running multiple projects. Magic XPI 4 projects can be started in one of the following ways. 1. You can click the start link that's created in the project directory when the project is built. This link points to the start XML file. 2. You can click the start option from the monitor or the debugger. This also uses the start XML file that's in the project folder. 3. You can place a file called project startup XML in the Magic XPI installations config folder. An example of this file is provided for you here. When the Magic XPI service starts and manages to deploy the Magic space, it will automatically start the projects and servers that are listed in the Project Startup XML file. The structure of the Project Startup XML file is identical to the structure of the Start XML file created under each project. All these options create a server entity or entities in the Magic space containing the metadata from the project start XML file, a unique ID and a status of start requested. Here is an example of a start XML file. These entities are displayed in Magic XPI's advanced monitoring console. The Magic processing unit scans the Magic space looking for server entities whose status is start requested. When the processing unit finds a server entity with a status of start requested, it scans for the grid service agent or GSA according to the host name or IP address defined in the server entity which is based on the start XML file. The magic processing unit passes all of the parameters and startup information defined in this server entity to the GSA. If the GSA is not available, the processing unit keeps checking to see if it becomes available at a later stage. The GSA running on the host machine specified in the server entity starts the Magic XPI server, the MGXPI server EXE process according to the parameters passed to it from the MAGIC processing unit. If a project is not running, the first MGXPI server EXE process that starts will create a project by loading the project metadata to the MAGIC space. If a project is already running, the loaded MGXPI server EXE process will join the existing project and add its own workers and triggers to the workforce. When the Magic XPI server registers, it connects to the Magic space and searches for the server entity according to its ID. The Magic XPI server then updates the server entity's status to running. This means that the server can now start handling requests. Today, we've seen what happens when you start a Magic XPI project. I hope you'll join me again soon for some more magic.